What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. My name is Josiah and this is the learner's guide to all for one. Oh, when I lose control. Uh, 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 uh. All for one is a legendary six move set quirk used by the mysterious supervillain all for one in the anime. First up is Q. The Q is called finger strike and the user sends out spikes from their fingers that jab an opponent while stunning them temporarily. This deals medium range high tier damage. The Z is called Enhanced Air Cannon. The user creates a large tunnel of air that can deal with damage to multiple opponents if placed correctly. This deals long range medium tier damage. The X is called Warping. Now this move is pretty simple. You put your cursor on where you want to go, press X, and you teleport there. Now while you're teleporting, you are completely invincible and you cannot be damaged. The C is called Impact Recoil. Now, when you activate this move, 50% of the damage you would take is dealt to your opponent, while the other 50% is dealt to you. So, let me demonstrate this on present mic. I hit him, hold down C, and now I only take 250 damage, whereas he takes the other 250 damage. The V is called Ultimate Combination. The user combines multiple quirks on their arm and creates a large shockwave tunnel. This deals medium range high tier damage. The F is called Spring-like Limbs. When the user activates this move, they boost their defense by 17% and their attacks by 20%. Next up, I'm going to be comparing damaging moves with and without Spring-like Limbs. <music> Moving on to combos. For these combos, I'm going to be demonstrating on present mic with Spring-like Limbs activated. Now this moveset really only has one combo, the QZV combo. I'm not going to be incorporating the warping or impact recoil. We start off with our Q. Then we go to our Z. And if the boss isn't dead by then, you use your V and then you start cycling. Now for bosses. Now for these bosses, I'm only going to be using the combo I just demonstrated. I'm not going to be warping or using impact recoil. I will be using spring-like limbs, so if you're not high enough level for spring-like limbs, just go on without it. We start off with our Q, move to our Z, then our V. Moving on to Tamura. Now I didn't mention the boss's name last clip, but I'm pretty sure most of you guys knew it was midnight. We start off with our Q, then we do our Z. Now he did die as quick as present Mike because they are the same health. Moving on to Dobby, let's just get right into this fight. We start off with Q, then we do our Z, and then our V. Now he did die just as quickly as Midnight because they do have the same amount of health. Now for Muscular. Now Muscular is an all around great fighter so we want to stay out of the range of his attacks. Like most bosses we start off with our Q, then we do our Z. And then our V. Now he's not dead yet, so we start cycling. Next is Gang Orca. Now his supersonic burst can immobilize us, so we're going to start this fight from behind. We do our Q, and the supersonic burst did still hit us, but we were able to dash out of it. Now we probably will have to cycle through our combo several times. Here we have Nomu. Now Nomu is a very tanky boss, so if you're lower level, you might have to cycle through the combo many, many times. So we start off with Q, then we do our Z, and our V. Now like I said, we will have to cycle through many times, so let's do just that. Next is Mount Lady. Now Mount Lady is a pretty close range fighter, but if she does get close to you, she does have some area damage attacks. So we're going to start off with our Q like all the other bosses, then move to our Z, then our V. Now she isn't dead yet, so we start cycling.
Next up is Endeavor. Now Endeavor is a very tanky and strong character, so like most bosses, you want to stay out of the range of his attacks. So just make sure to cycle through your moves and stay out of the range of his attacks, like I said earlier. Finally we have Overhaul. Now Overhaul really only has two range moves, his Z and his C. Now the V is very close range, so as long as he doesn't get right up next to you, he can't use it. Let's just get right into this. We start off with our Q, we do our Z, and our V, and then we start cycling. Now like I said earlier, the Q can stun bosses and NPCs, so take that into account. A little heads up about fighting bosses with heroes and villains around. Now your Q will latch onto the closest NPC, so if the boss isn't the closest NPC to you, it will latch onto the one of the heroes or villains. This did happen with my fight with Endeavor, so be careful of that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you learned something of value, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Make sure to go check out my new Let's Play on Among Us, link in description. Mm -hmm.